But they've been doing him wrong timing wise for the past two or three years. If you ask me, it goes back to his shoulder surgery. Everyone knew his shoulder was messed up in the middle of the year two years ago, but they wait until the offseason to get ready to start to have shoulder surgery. Makes no sense. Then as soon as he got hurt last preseason against the Patriots, they were saying, oh, he's got a high ankle sprain. I looked at it on film carefully. You knew it was a midfoot sprain, a Liz Frank, something like that. But you wait till December for him to beg you to have surgery. He shouldn't have been out there week one and week two. So, Ryan Clark, I'll start with you. Do you believe the Panthers mismanaged Cam Newton? I do. I do believe the situation was mismanaged from a medical standpoint with Cam Newton. Uh, what I do know from from being a player is a lot of times you have input on those things, whether or not you're trying to get back to play or whether or not you want to continue to be on the field. So I don't necessarily know if it's all on the Carolina Panthers, but when you look at how his shoulder was dealt with, you also look at how his foot was dealt with the last season. I do think there's been some inconsistency in on how, on, on how they view the severity of his issues, of his injuries, and which way they want to take care of them. And now they've left them in this position right now where he doesn't have a team, where he is isn't healthy where he wasn't able to show different teams that he could be the quarterback going in to the 2020 season. So overall, I feel like Cam Newton's injury history hasn't helped him at all, and he wasn't helped by the Carolina Panthers, but I would have to believe that Cam Newton himself had some input in that. Well, the primary issue here, Nick, with timing, of course, involves the pandemic. Were it not for the pandemic, we have to assume that Cam Newton would be on a team, but the timing that they chose to release him, meaning waiting through everything, I guess maybe holding out some hope for a trade, uh, didn't help either here. Do you believe in, in total the Panthers did not do right by the guy who clearly has been the greatest player in their franchise history? Yeah, I mean, I guess it depends on what you believe a franchise owes a player, especially their best player in their history. And I think they owe Cam Newton more than they gave him. I think trying to get some value for him for a trade is not crazy, but you have to realize after several months that no one's trying to go get Cam Newton and you should have cut him in time to let him be a real free agent. And I do think that obviously Ryan's right. The player bears some responsibility, a lot of responsibility in how their injury is handled, but football players want to play. And especially when you're a leader, the quarterback on the team you need the medical professionals and the team to protect you in those situations and step up and say we're going to sit him down we're going to make sure he's healthy we're going to get him to surgery when he needs it because it's so hard for a player on a team especially a team leader to step up and say I'm too injured I don't care what they say I need a surgery I feel like the team and the media and the fans might turn on a player specifically a player like Cam Newton who it seems like has had a hard time kind of uh, ingratiating himself with so many fans across the country specifically those down in North Carolina. RC, really quick, if, if we all assume that Jacksonville's not interested in part because they may have other interests in, in their season, give me a team real quick right now that should be calling Cam Newton. You know what? I, other than the Patriots, I really don't know. I think, I think right now Cam Newton's yeah. best shot is going to be waiting to camp start and to see if someone wants to have him as a starter, give him a chance to compete. If not, he's going to have to be okay with being a backup. I would love to see the Patriots make that call. They don't seem to have any inclination <laughs> to doing so. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.